Well, let's see what we got here. So, I think I decided that was pin 8. I found uh, 22 microfarad, but like 350 volts, so it's a little big, but that's okay. Okay. We'll just tack that in there. to make much difference. Hmm. Well, there is a kind of an all a bypass cap there. Sort of sounded. I don't know, can I say this? Are traitorous. 103, 80, and. Can I accuse? President Seems a little low. Being a traitor to his nation for returning avowed enemy combatants to the battlefield? Mm -hmm. Against the nation? He's now what? The one he swore. He yeah, 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 yeah. Quiet. Let's see. So, this should have a. Let's see, what is that, like, pin 3? 95. That's probably the screen. That should be the... Hmm. I think that's supposed to be the... I think we got a leaky cap there. I think. It should be zero, should it? Seven volts. I think that's pin five. Let me go check something real quick here. Well, I'll tell you what, pin five. I don't think it should have five volts on it. More like six or seven. Yeah, that's not good. I'll just shut that off so it doesn't burn the tube up anymore. Comes the fuses. Well, one way to find out is just to clip that baby loose, and uh, there's like 50 volts on the other side. If this drops to zero, then we know we got a leaky cap. And we just take that, take that. Of course, the audio is now severed. That's the coupling between the two stages. Gee, no voltage. I 
Here's a leaky cap, folks. Yeah. What is that in the real world? I think that was point one. So much for the Indestructo Cap Company. Point oh one. Mm -hmm. Well, welcome back with my noisy neighbor and my blowtorch for a soldering gun. Actually, I don't need to throw that over there. This will do double duty. So I'm going to plug the soldering iron. Use those screws. Nope, they're just sitting right there. And just to that. So, I just need to lift this out of here. There's the New giant cap. There's my replacement. It's a little bit different. I don't know. That small size might not let the audio squeeze through. Probably ought to get it out of there, but that's all I got to work with. I'm gonna drop my cap. Oh well. So let's take this one out. Lickety split. Yeah. Come on, that wire is really. Almost looks like somebody might have dinked with that once. There's definitely some solder on there. My soldering tip needs a little dressing up. That's okay, I'll we'll just use the side here. Yeah, yeah, I know, I should just clip it loose and knock it out, but I like doing stuff the hard way. Besides, I want that little piece of uh, insulation. So much for the Indestructo Cap Company of Chicago. Can't even show that to you, can I? Let's see if it'll focus on that. There it goes. <laughs> what is that? 600 volt, huh? Get some right in line. Let's see, am I going to have enough lead on there to do that? It's going to be tight. Yeah. Hmm, this is going to be a little bit tight, isn't it? Yeah, I can get her in there. I'll just kind of go up over the top there. There happens to be a little trimmer cap right there in the way. I think my big fat head is in the way. Just tuck that baby. There we go. That's pretty nice. Just tuck that right there. Get a little solder on her. Made a little bridge there, and once it gets soldered, I'll bend it forward a little bit. Oh. And look, I didn't even need a schematic. And just a little 
solder in there. Come on. There we go. Good as new. You can go into the trash pile. Wonder if that uh, cap would show up on the ohm meter is bad. Let's see here. Let's let us find out. Well, I could read the capacitance. Let's see what happens. Uh, it doesn't like it very much. It says there's nothing there. It started to. Let me see if I can reset that. It's not working. <laughs> Let's see how much resistance it has. A little charge build up from the cap test. We'll just bleed it off. Definitely something going on there. Doesn't like that. Okay, so we'll hook this back up. Back on the voltage scale. We unplug Mr. Solder and we hook up the meter again. We'll just turn it down a little bit so we're nice and friendly. I might need my bypass cap now. Uh, we can just, so we're just going to tuck that over out of the way. See if I can get my voltmeter to stay there. How's that look? Pretty good. Might work. Okay. A little voltage. A little fire scarecrow. There it goes, ramp it up. Big zero on this side. What do you think about that? Uh, mm -hmm. Did I miss anything on that opening? <laughs> Gee, you can run the volume up and it doesn't sound all distorted. What a snappy fix. I love my job. Probably should have put something on that side. Oh, I can go back and touch it up. Let's see how the cap sounds. We connect that to ground or bypass cap. Oh, made it better. Certainly, he, you can't trust him to do anything. Well, actually, Obama even asked the Justice, Justice Department, and okay. the Justice yep. Department said we'll have that to fix that. he didn't need to go through Congress for this. Make sure this is disarmed. Of course, as we expect, and see, this is the standard that exists in American affairs today. This is where the third branch of government needs okay. to step in. When you, know, when you know how the Supreme Court is going to rule on a particular... Yeah, I probably could put the cover back on that for now. Actually, I'm probably going to give this away to somebody. I'm real crazy about that now, but it's good enough. I don't know. run the screws back in this baby and call her just good for now. I'll put a little note in there to let somebody know it needs a cap or two. Actually it needs to be recapped. I'm, although uh, 
suppose a person could test those electrolytics, maybe get a little hot melt glue or some silicone or a bracket or something, glue them, mount them down there so they aren't flying around. I don't know my camera. There we go. Just button up the old bottom here. Some sheet metal screws aren't very good. Oh, it's fun. We haven't done that in a while. Really. I'm busy with other junk. So, I didn't check that cord real well, but, uh, I don't know. We'll be okay. Industrial Condenser Company of Chicago. Indestructible. Something. Okay, so let's fire back up here, see how we're doing. I've got an antenna, a little piece of cord. I don't know if you can, where we can't see what happened here. <clears throat> there we go. Tripod a little loose, there's a little piece of cord I threw in the, up on the bushes there. Clean up my mess here. It's gonna rain tonight, so I gotta put all my toys away. Unless I want to get them wet. So let's see what we can get here. I'm on the shortwave band here. Plenty. said, Behold, the Lamb. Shortwave's kind of buzzing in a little bit tonight.
San Antonio by seven, 26 to 19. Wade from the baseline. That baby sounds a lot better. Well, I think I'll let it sit out here and perk a little bit. I'll turn the, turn the voltage down a little bit and let it sit. Well, I guess I'm kind of done for the evening. It's uh, eh, it's not very late. How come the helicopters again? Just let it sit there and perk a little bit, burn in, see if any other problems pop out. Knowing something about tubes always helps when it comes time to troubleshoot that stuff. But as you see there, all you do is just kind of poke around a little bit. And before you know what the symptoms are, you can figure out what the problem is pretty quick. <sighs> Doing that for a business you can build up your little mental database of problems there pretty quick. Get you going. Well, that was fun. I don't know. Maybe a little baths in order. Get the Helicrafter, the S41G, or the Echo Phone, your choice. Guess it's a Helicrafter. It's got the Helicrafter, Helicrafter jammies on. So I don't know. I might get my lawn chair out, sit down, listen to it for a little bit, see what I can hear tonight. If I find something fun, I take I'll whip the camera back on. How's that sound? Anyway, take her easy. Have a great day.